Here it says the length of a rectangle is one foot less than twice the width. If the perimeter is 46 feet, find the dimensions. Now whenever I have a geometry problem, I like to draw a picture. So here's my rectangle. Okay, I'm going to call the width W, and it says the length is. Okay, so the length equals one foot less than twice the width. Okay, so twice the width would be 2W, and one foot less than that, minus 1. So the length is one foot less than twice the width. So here I've sort of identified my variables. Now we have to look for the keyword here, perimeter. And we have to remember the formula for a perimeter. We know the perimeter equals 2L plus 2W, or length plus length plus W plus W. Okay, we're going to add up the lengths of all the sides of the rectangle. Once we have the formula and we've identified our variable, we're going to try to use algebra and set this up using one variable only. Okay, so he told us the perimeter was 46 feet. So I'll go ahead and substitute that in there, substitute that in there for P. Now the length is actually in terms of W. So we have 2W minus 1, and I'll go ahead and uh, substitute that there, plus the 2W. Okay, so what I have here is my setup. The perimeter is, okay, 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Notice here there's only one variable. For our setup on these, um, that's sort of the key. We need one variable, and then we can use just what we've learned so far in algebra to solve it. Okay, so once we get it set up, we just do the, the algebra here. And notice we have to multiply. So we're required to use the distributive property, 4w minus 2. Okay, bring down the 2w. Then we have same side like term, so 46 equals 6w minus 2. Okay, I'm trying to solve for w here. Adding 2, I get, uh, what is that, 44, oops, sorry, that's going to be 48, I'm adding today, and that equals 6w, okay, and then finally I can get the width by dividing by 6, okay, so then um, we could say w equals 15, I'm sorry, <laughs> 8. 48 divided by 6 is 8. Okay, so if the width uh, equals 8 feet, be sure to put the units, then the length uh, is equal to 2 times uh, w, which is 8, 2 times 8 is 16, minus 1 is 15 feet. Okay, so we took our w and we back substitute into this formula here for the length. And again, don't forget the units. You usually will get marked off if you forget that. So the dimensions are 8 feet by 15 feet. 